We're inching closer towards the start of the fall 2021 semester for students across Kello land. And that means a return to early mornings and the end of a leisurely breakfast. Just because the summer days and the free time are coming to an end, though, does not mean it's time to start skipping breakfast. Mary Michaels is the public health prevention coordinator with Live Well Sioux Falls. And she's here to share a few easy back to school breakfast ideas that are sure to get your mornings off on the right foot. Welcome, Mary. Hey. Breakfast. breakfast. I love breakfast foods like this. I'm not as big with like pancakes, waffles, but when it comes to breakfast, whatever you are eating, why is it just important to eat something? Well, you know, if you think about, you wouldn't start a long trip without putting gas in your car, right? So breakfast is the thing that can fuel your day. So it gets you that boost of protein and carbohydrates, fiber, things that fill you up, get you energized, clear out the brain fog, and just get you ready for your day. And why is that important for kids who are sitting in a classroom using their brain to learn? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of talk about food as medicine. And, and again, kids need that fuel. And they're going to be playing at recess and gym class and everything else as well as learning. And so you want them to have that full, you know, full stomach, ready to go, ready to learn. Again, it just prepares them physically and mentally to get into the classroom and, and start learning. A lot of kids are not morning people, though, however, oh. so they don't want to get up until the last minute, but then they're kind of hustling out the door, especially if you have multiple kids. It's a lot to get everyone ready, get everyone breakfast on the table. So it's really good to have some grab and go options already ready. So yeah. what are some ideas for that? Well, you know, the biggest thing is plan ahead, and that goes for adults as well as kids. So if you have things that are ready to go in the pantry, in your refrigerator, it sure makes your mornings a lot less stressful, especially if you can do some things even the night before. And so things like smoothies, um, you know, toast with different kinds of toppings, you know, those are all, you know, muffins that you can have pre-made that have lots of good, you know, fiber in them are all good choices. So, you know, you can also take your smoothie from a glass to a bowl if you have that time and you want that sensation of sitting down to eat something where you feel like, okay, I've eaten something rather than I drink a smoothie and now I, I'm, I'm hungry or, you know, I just didn't get that satisfaction of eating. So you can do a smoothie in a bowl. Um, that we're going to show today with some toppings, or you can take a twist on that. And um, I just took some granola and yogurt and fruit and put it in a muffin tin, and then you freeze these, and then you can just set them out right before you go, and you can grab them and go if you want. Um, something like a protein ball, or these that are actually more of a breakfast cookie, if you need to entice your kids to get up and eat something, you just kind of play around with it and try different ways to use good ingredients. And I'm thinking, too, with these, you added some... Unique things, too, because we've made, you know, protein balls, different things like that, but you added strawberries to it yes. as well. Yep, so this is just some rolled oats and then chopped up strawberries, um, peanut butter or your, you know, favorite nut butter, and then I added in just a little bit of sugar-free dark chocolate chips, and again, try to entice kids mm -hmm. to get that, but then they're getting that good, um, the healthy fats and the fiber from the oats, the protein from your nut butter, a little bit of fruit snuck in there as well, and you're good to go. So pre-making a bunch of those ahead of time and just having them ready for the week rather than grabbing a granola bar out of the because, Yeah, because those you have to watch for sugar. And right. that's the nice thing about these is there's not all that added sugar in them. And these you can actually make, store them in the refrigerator for a week, or they're very freezer friendly. So you can actually make them, tuck them in the freezer, and then they're ready for you whenever you need them. And what did you add into these little yogurt? Yeah, the little bites. So it's literally you take a mini muffin tin. I couldn't find mine, so they're a little bigger and flatter, but... You just layer a little bit of granola, and this is a gluten-free granola, but it's got lots of good nuts and seeds in there on the bottom. Then you layer some of your chopped, so I've chopped blueberries and strawberries. Put that next on top of your granola. Tap it with about a tablespoon or so of yogurt, and again, watch your sugar. So a Greek yogurt is good because it's got protein, mm -hmm. so you can find that low-fat Greek yogurt. Tap that, kind of tap the pan, pan down so that yogurt covers it. Cover it, freeze it. Really, you could freeze it for about three hours or, you know, do it overnight. And then in the morning, you put your pan in a little bit of warm water to loosen that bottom. Use a, a plastic knife or a spoon to kind of go around your edges and pop them out and ready to go. Yeah, super easy. Yeah. Okay, but if we do have time, whether we're going to take our smoothie with us on the go or sit down and make an actual smoothie bowl, which for those who've never had a smoothie bowl, which I think a lot of people have, it's thicker. Yeah. So what, what can we put in our smoothie bowl? You, you yeah. have one made and then we're also gonna make yep. another. So, you know, frozen fruit is a great way to be prepared to go. I mean, if you can do it with fresh fruit as well, but if you're you know, shopping on a budget, wherever, the great thing to do is prep your fruit right away. So when you come home from the store, you can chop it up, put it into bags, put it in the freezer and have your own pre-made rather than buying maybe what might be more expensive mm -hmm. pre-bagged frozen fruit at the store. Um, and so this one is really simple. It's just um, a half a cup of 
like a fat-free, you know, or low-fat almond milk or, you know, whatever milk you want to use, um, a few tablespoons of your good Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. Again, you're getting that protein, about a cup or so of frozen mixed berries or whatever frozen fix. This one's actually tropical, so it uses, like, pineapple, mango, Ooh, yeah. you know, strawberry, peaches, whatever. And so that I topped with some fresh drop, uh, chopped bananas and then some other toppings that we can go. So this one is actually with berries. So okay. again, your yogurt, your milk, your berries, some ice to thicken it. And again, if this one didn't turn out so thick, you can always add more ice to thicken it up. And then we're just literally blend it all together. We're going to pour it in a bowl. So it is, you know, this could be a little thicker, but that's okay. Just a little bit of ice would do the trick there. Add a little more yogurt, more fruit if you want. So then I can take some chia seeds. Yeah, so we have chia seeds and hemp seed hearts. So maybe you haven't heard of those before. They're great to mix in smoothies, sprinkle on salads. It's a way to get yourself some extra fiber, some protein, and those healthy fats. So everyone kind of gets nervous when you start talking about fat, right? So mm -hmm. you just want to stay away from saturated fats, trans fats. But there are fats that are good for you. The things you find in olive oil, avocado. Well, you'll find them in um, these chia seeds and the hemp hearts as well. So it's good for your heart. Again, that fiber helps you feel healthy. And then there's actually a gluten-free granola and lots of good nuts and seeds and things that will fill you up. Add some fresh fruit to it be on top. Design it like they do when you when yeah. you get them. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to chase can, this. And that's, what, and that's where the kids can have fun too. Right. Because then, um, again, sorry, it's a little bit runny, but but it's good. I just you know, so, so if, you know, if you need to be on the go and it's a little loose, you can pour it in a cup and just take it like this and drink it it's as you go. It's so good. But otherwise, yeah, add a little more yogurt, add a little more fruit, add a little more ice to thicken it up. And again, it just gives you that sensation of having something really good and filling, but lots, just jam-packed with nutrients yeah. to get you going for your day. Yeah, that is really tasty. Wow, great options. Thank you so much for coming in and teaching us how to make these so that we can all be ready and fueled for our day. Yep, it's good for, good for parents and kids, so we want everyone to get, get a good start to their day.